One contributing factor is particle impact. Now this one involves small particles that are generated during assembly. Now, over time, these particles can flake off from inside the cylinder. Now what happens is that these small particles can be caught up in the flowing oxygen and accelerated to a high velocity. When the particles hit the internal surfaces of the valve or the regulator, heat is generated. Now, although these small particles wouldn't burn in air under high pressure, they can burn in oxygen, and that can ignite a fire. Another contributing factor is adiabatic compression, also called the heat of compression. Now, this happens when you open the post valve and pressurize the regulator. Oxygen rushes into the high pressure side of the regulator, now, as the gas rapidly compresses in this closed compartment, heat is generated, which can also ignite any non-metallic part of the regulator. That heat can also ignite contaminants inside the regulator, which brings me to my next point, contamination. Now, this involves exposing parts of a regulator or a cylinder to a contaminant like grease or an oil-based lubricant parts that come into contact with the high-pressure oxygen. Now, those contaminants are very easy to ignite, either by particle impact or adiabatic compression. 